Hello there, this is Asok Rizal and I would like to welcome all of you in my channel English with Asok Rizal. And it's a sequence of events, sequence of videos. We have been talking on linguistics, grammar and a lot of things related to English in this channel. And today we are going to talk on the topic that is syntagmatic and paradigmatic relationship between syntagms. Actually, syntagmatic, the word syntagmatic is about syntagms. Syntagms are the set of signs or words, the set of words. Whenever we speak or whenever we write, we write words and we give meaning. They are meaningful. The word in isolation, they are not meaningful. The sound in isolation are also not meaningful. But there are contrasting relationship between two. One is about positioning. Positioning, where we keep, where we put the sequence. One is about sequence positioning. That is syntagmatic relationship. Whereas... Paradigmatic relationship means the relationship which is concerned about substitution. We can substitute one grammatical category with other. Okay, that is syntagmatic relationship. We, we already uh, knew in semiotics. In semiotics, it is generally how signs make meaning, how words make meaning, how they are arranged. The analysis, whenever we analyze, because we come, uh, you know, in discourse, words in themselves, they are meaningless. If I say Asok, okay. If I say English, okay, teaches, then it makes no sense. Word in isolation, they, they make no sense, but words, when they are put in sequence, they make sentence or sense. And uh, not it's about the surface structure. Surface structure, syntagmatic relationship is about surface, how they appear in surface. For example, uh, these uh, sentences, let's take a look at this. Syntagms, as I told, they are the set of words. All the words. Syntagms. Syntagmatic relationship is about positioning, where we keep. When we try to find out whether uh, these words have syntagmatic relationship or paradigmatic relationship, in order to understand syntagmatic relationship, we should know one thing. That is, uh, you know, horizontal line. You can see horizontal line. A soft teacher's English, this is horizontal line. This is syntagmatic relationship. And if you want to find out the paradigmatic relationship, you can go to column. And uh, because it is about substitution. Paradigmatic relationship is about substitution. As we said, a soft teacher's English. First noun comes or uh, this uh, subject comes and then verb comes and then uh, object comes. This is the this is about syntagmatic relationship. These words asok alone makes no sense. Teaches only doesn't make any sense without these words. So they have relationship. They come in sequence and they make meaning. Otherwise, the words in themselves are meaningless. Now let's talk about the paradigmatic relationship. Paradigmatic relationship you can is I have already told that you can see the you know there's a <laughs> row. There are two axes. One is vertical, uh, I mean uh, one is horizontal and the other one is vertical. So if you see the row, paradigmatic relationship, instead of saying Asok, we can substitute with Samir or my teacher or my brother or my sister or something. The teacher, the instructor, my teacher, etc. Substitution. Because uh, this paradigmatic relationship is all about uh, the same type of items can occur. The same type of item because these are all subjects, so any subject is possible here. This relationship, these are all verbs. So, uh, instead of saying teaches, uh, we can also say 
anything like a uh, uh, prepares we can also change the uh, object so this is about paradigmatic relationship so syntagmatic and paradigmatic relationship uh, you know is there and then these uh, uh, syntagms you know they are put together in a system in a sequence to make meaningful sentence and there is also the possibility of substitution so syntagmatic relationship is all about positioning where we put the word and then it's about the sequence because if i say uh, like if the uh, so this is english for example if i say the uh, the octopus Octopus eat, eats Raju. The octopus eats Raju. And the same uh, same uh, words like Raju eats octopus. Alright. The same uh, the same words put differently gives different meaning so this is about syntagmatic relationship so syntagmatic relationship also changes the uh, you know meaning of a sentence so uh, this raju it's the octopus is very different it gives a different meaning than this uh, the octopus it's raju very different mary kicks the ball all right uh, my friend kicked him like that when we put the sentences they have certain sequence that is about these syntagms have the relationship what type of relationship syntagmatic relationship and instead of saying the octopus uh, okay raju it's octopus let's take a look at this sentence raju it's octopus we can also say uh, like instead of saying octopus we can say fish raju it's fish maybe and what may be the other items he may eat? Raju eats uh, vegetables. Raju eats rice. So when we substitute, that relationship is called paradigmatic relationship. Now, I don't uh, think you will you know, have any problem related to this syntagmatic and paradigmatic relationship. This is very important in structural linguistics and then whenever we try to find out how the words, uh, uh, you know, have relationship, what sort of relationship do they have, whether that is syntagmatic relationship, whether that is uh, about the sequence or positioning. That is the study and generally under semiotics and then structural linguistics, starting with Ferdinand de Saussure, the father of modern linguistics. Ferdinand de Saussure, you know, he... Whenever he talked about sign, he said there are two things in sign. Sign is made up of two. One is signifier and the other one is signified. Signifier means words. For example, if I say pen, or the pen, then we have mental concept of that. That is what he wanted to say. So uh, from here, this relationship has started because there is a, the, the meaning comes with contrast in contrast because because of the contrast because there is a difference and then because of the relationship contrasting relationship because one is syn uh, syntagmatic relationship and the other one is paradigmatic relationship and they make sense in order to make a, a, a sensible sentence or make a text or any narrative because we need to put things in order if i if i'm going to tell any story then i have to tell first what happened then next you know what happens something and then later on what takes place these all about uh, these are all about syntagmatic relationship paradigmatic relationship it is sometimes paradigmatic relationship comes in stylistics because rhymes are created because of paradigmatic relationship. For example, uh, <clears throat> all right, I'll give you one example. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. It is the poem from this uh, by William Blake, romanticist. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. 
in the forest of the night bright and night because of b and b sound and no sound there is you know rhyme rhyme is created because of that so a little change in uh, phonemes phonemes are the minimal distinctive sounds minimal distinctive units sounds phoneme ba ka ta any sound okay because of the change in sound alone meaning also changes that is paradigmatic relationship because of the contrast paradigmatic relationship all right so well i hope you have a fair understanding about this topic in case you have any problem please feel free to write uh, the comment in the comment box and thank you once again for subscribing my channel and i just would like to ask whether you have subscribed my channel please subscribe like and then if you don't like please write dislike also thank you very much for watching have a great time bye bye